Okay, so now that you've gone through the tutorials, let's show you how this process would happen in a real world scenario. And we're going to create a new campaign. Let's log back into our, our application. Going to add a new campaign and let's make the uh, launch date yesterday, not today. We're going to call this um, FY15 salary adjustments and we're going to call this your 2015. salary increase and this is going to come from boss interbay.boss at gmail.com ah, I got that backwards okay notifications is going to be the interbay.boss the server we're going to go back to gmail let's go uh, grab our header okay for our emails and let's add a data file as you saw that screen go dark what's happening is when you go from tab to tab, if there's anything to be saved, it will automatically save it without you having to go press the save button. So you can just keep working through the tabs. So let's add a data file. But this, for this, uh, we're going to start with a, a test file, and test data. And we're going to just use it uh, test email data. I think there's uh, four users in here. And we're going to make it active. Okay, I'm going to go to data columns, do our import. Okay. <coughs> We're going to quickly do our our formats and our salaries. We're just going to make them all um, whole numbers. We're not going to have any uh, any decimals. Okay, so let's go to our templates, and again we're gonna we're gonna just default to the square square bra brackets. <clears throat> let's go out of template. We're gonna keep with the uh, V1, and we're gonna call this. Uh, Full time annual increase. Okay, but this time what we're going to do is actually go grab a Word doc, which is here is our Word doc created by somebody else, and we're going to just grab the content, copy it. We're going to come back here, we're going to paste it, and right away you're going to select all again, 
and go, come right up to this little button right here which if you hover on it it says clean formatting which will remove all the specific Microsoft Word formatting which usually is is a mess so that's our first thing to do and as you see all the formatting's gone we just have a little bit of cleanup to do with just spacing as you see we're gonna we got our header in there let's change this to be uh, current you know the date that we're gonna be sending and let's make it the long date <clears throat> and that that should stay the same but you know I think we want some spacing between uh, between these and this is where testing your emails will will come in handy and let's say as we go through okay and we're just we're just cleaning things up You know, I think that uh, let's do an audit. Of course. Let's see what's wrong here. Yeah, looks like a percent there. We need a space. Okay, FY15 salary. Okay, job title. Let's take a look at our test data. FY15, because there is no FY15 salary, it's 2015 salary. So let's change that. Okay, I think that should do it. Let's do an audit. Good. Yeah, this might be. Uh, let's. Uh, let's go ahead and make that a not as big a space. Okay. Good. Let's go ahead and save that. So, what you saw happen here was, we took content from a Word document copied it into the editor, removed the formatting, and, and we're, we're good to go. Okay, we're going to do the same thing again. And we're going to use a different Word document. Just a little bit different wording. Only this time we're going to, since we know, we're going to clean it up uh, just a little bit before we paste it in. Okay, I think that does it. Let's go grab it. Control C to copy. We're going to make this be two uh, part time annual increase. Okay, let's paste it in there. Control A to um, highlight it all. We're going to clean our formatting up. Okay, we're going to change this to be the long date. All right, and looks like uh, let's just leave the rest as it is without any removing of uh, line spacing. And looks like the uh, formatting was was good. Okay, now let's do a. Uh, we're going to add a V3, and V3 is going to be all fields, one per line for testing. And as you saw from previous, we're going to actually do an import. 
but this time we're going to do it from our our previous um, campaign and there we go so let's check the fields no issues all right so our templates are done we're going to do one more audit no errors all right moving along let's uh, let's go ahead and import recipients okay as I said this is test data and we have four four users okay uh, templates one two three and one all right so everybody's got data let's just double check status it's all good so let's queue them up four recipients were added next step is press start and start button yes good emails are being sent should be done already and it is so let's um, let's go grab Chrome log into Gmail and take a look at uh, one trick with email that you'll learn is uh, if you use the incognito that way uh, no data is saved and you're able to log in under a bunch of different accounts uh, guess not so okay and let's go look at uh, Interbay Brown. Okay. So that would be this one here, since that's the most recent. Let's get rid of these old ones. And let's go ahead and change to. get away from uh, the uh, yeah I don't like this um, the way they do this so let's get back to it so here's the email we got our nice header there we have today's date dear Dan and here's the body of the email 2% that's a merge field and the annual base salary for 2014 was this and we'll increase to that based upon two percent and your position as a master slacker so um, I don't know if I would bother with uh, cleaning that up anymore and here's just the uh, the v3 template just to verify that 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 went out and everything's wonderful so that's all good Let's uh, let's go log in as Mr. Green. Okay, that's an old one, and this is the same scenario. This is the one that had that I left the spaces in. If you remember, that would be. Uh, v2 these big spaces okay so let's take a look again of 
how that looks and yeah it looks kind of odd um, I don't know I may I if if this was a real campaign I may pull those out but is it worth the uh, the effort probably not here's the compact one that I took the extra space out so I don't know personal preference but as you see everything came across uh, there's the old salary here's the new salary and that was a calculated field senior developer everything did what it was supposed to do so that's a good deal so in less than 15 minutes that I've been talking with you we did a full email campaign uh, a test test setup and everything worked as expected so now let's say okay your test worked you're ready to go so here's your test email let's go ahead and load in final data which would be possibly um, I'm only doing 12 users but this could be uh, 1200 users and we are now going to make that active we're going to come to the recipients tab we're going to import the new data and there it is if for whatever reason the grid doesn't look like it's supposed to come over here and press the uh, refresh button and it should it should uh, show you accurate information I always like to check the status before I start queuing everything up nothing's been you know nothing's in the queue we got we got 12 waiting let's queue it up and let's start it and off they go And as you see, they are getting worked. You can press the status button any amount of times you want. Since we have all three templates, all 12 completed successfully. All right. Yep. Okay. Let's just verify. And there they are. So, from, from the start to now, 18 minutes. And so that's, that's your typical flow for a campaign. Very quick, very clean. And that was creating three templates from Word documents and importing from another um, campaign. And so there you have it. Um, everything's uh, just the way it's supposed to be. And it just works. Thanks for watching this, uh, this quick end-to-end. Uh, -end. Appreciate it. Back to our main screen. We'll log out. And that's the end.